what role has the Citizenship by Investment program played in the wake of the hurricanes? The funds from the Citizenship by Investment program was literally, and, and, I, and I mean this, a lifesaver. Um, that's what we used to purchase food supplies and water for our citizens in the days after the hurricane. Because there are several islands that were impacted by the hurricane before Dominica. And all of the international regional agencies were already mobilized in those islands. Um, so it took them a few days to get to us. Uh, we have been utilizing these funds to meet our debt obligation. And interestingly, notwithstanding the fact that our, our revenues have uh, dropped dramatically, we have not defaulted on one debt obligation since the hurricane. And every one of these dollars um, has come from the CBI funds. Uh, we have used this to pay salaries of our public servants, uh, to maintain uh, our social safety net programs. Because you know, after a hurricane, you have to be even more uh, guarded of your social safety net programs for fear that um, people may fall back into poverty. Uh, it has been used to, to fix homes, uh, to build new roofs. Uh, it's been used to build new homes for citizens. Uh, so the government has decided to create uh, an employment program to engage about 1,200 of our citizens and residents who would have lost their jobs um, since the hurricane. Uh, and, and we believe it's important to do so for, for a number of reasons. Uh, one, um, you do not want to have a situation where people who earn money before the hurricane are no longer able to earn money. Um, that was, that's a cause for people sliding into poverty um, and people's inability to meet the obligations when it's a mortgage or even their own um, caring of the children. So, so we'll be engaging about 1,200 of them um, and every one of these 1,200 will be paid for by the CBI. So we're very grateful. If you'd like to comment on the recent news from St. Kitts, where you, I understand, met with some of the other prime ministers in the OECS to discuss how to prevent a downward spiral in yeah. pricing. Yeah, I, I think it's, a, it's absolutely necessary that those of us in the Caribbean with such programs um, to have some common ground, common understanding on some fundamental aspects of the program. Um, we. We all have a, a different offering, a different uh, product, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we're part of one region. And um, there's a lot for all of us to benefit from, um, in, in obviously maybe in different proportions, but certainly enough for everybody. So I think there's some things that we need to agree on. One is should we not have um, uniform legislation? You know, we have, we have uniform legislation in a number of aspects within the within the region. Could we not look at uh, common application processes and the same forms? And you know, uh, can we not look at um, at having our databases connected? Uh, not having full access to to our database, but if somebody were to come to St. Kitts and apply, and the person got turned down, should we not be able to have access in Dominica or Antigua or St. Lucia or Grenada? to that um, application that has been turned on and possibly maybe the reason why it was turned down. Uh, so we, there's a draft MOU that the heads of the units have uh, met and considered and they have sent a report uh, to us, the heads, and we're hoping that um, sometime uh, soon we can discuss it uh, and, um, and uh, come to an understanding as to where do we go from there. But, but, but the, there's, there's, there's collaboration already, but in a largely informal way, mm -hmm. with no set structure. Uh, I believe that the MOU set that framework for collaboration and cooperation. And uh, my, my hope is that we can conclude on this very soon. It, it will benefit everybody, um, to benefit everybody. So, in, in, and, and it, all, it also speaks to pricing. Um, what is the, the lowest rate you can go uh, in any one country, you know, um, so that will set the the, the floor on 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 the on the pricing system, you know. Uh, but we very, I think there is buy into it. There is a, a keenness on the part of all of us to to arrive at a 
at, at some understanding. So we hope we can, can, can get this going soon. Do you think we would uh, be able to arrive at a finalized understanding within the next, say, six months or a year? I, I think, uh, I, I would hope before that. Okay. I, I, I would hope, you know, um, I would hope we can find some solution before uh, or within six months. Um, taking it beyond six months would make it impossible to arrive at anything. Um, but we need to set ourselves a very tight schedule uh, and arriving at some uh, understanding. And my view is, look, if there are 10 things for us to consider, if we all agree in increment on five, let's implement these five. And let us discuss further the, the other five that we have not found, found common ground on. So not wait for us to agree on everything. Let us move ahead with what we have agreed. So if we agree on one, let's implement this one. We agree on two, let's implement um, two. And, and let it be incremental rather than waiting for the whole um, agreement. Do you think there are any, of the, any parts of those uh, five, six steps that are more difficult to agree on than others? I, I don't think so. I, I think it's a, it is, it's a, it's a fairly uh, straightforward, simple uh, document um, that I do not think there should be any major uh, disagreements on, really, from, at least from Dominica's perspective. Thank you.